proactive role for um, um, the, so the National Council for Women and the Nas National Council for Motherhood and Childhood. Uh, there has to be some kind of awareness campaigns to the mothers of those girls, to the girls themselves, to the not to be, to the yeah, parents, to the parents, the girls to be abused. They are being abused, actually. Uh, they are brainwashed, and all Egyptians are supporting the military and the police to restore uh, peace and safety to the street. For me, for example, to come over today to, to the program, I was, I was coming from Nasr City, most of the roads to the, the city center were closed. Yes. Why? Because there are expectations of demonstrations today. Is that the, the, the business as usual that, that we have to accommodate ourselves for? No, I don't think so. This has to stop. It has to stop and the educational process has to be restored again and females not to be abused. And regarding the, the protests or the demonstrations yeah. in, in the universities, the students killed, 40 wounded, why all this? How come we have something like this in the university with all, with such a violence or such, how, how can you describe it, why? I, I think they are, they are being brainwashed and um, uh, I mean the authorities will have to stop that. The demonstrations law is now passed and it is working, whether it will continue or it won't. I, I mean, this we should not uh, bother a lot ourselves about this issue specifically because we are getting into the constitutional uh, front and uh, discussions and anyway all the laws that will be passed during this period up till the appointment of a new president and a new parliament the parliament will revisit all the laws that will uh, be passed during this period so the the main but goal again now it is our just 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 let me continue uh, this uh, piece of information just the goal now is to restore safety and peace in the street in order to continue with the economic agenda and to restore stability for the country. And after then, we can revisit uh, the laws and, and everything. But no demonstrations, this is correct. Uh, restoration of uh, the education process is correct. And we have to go back and the abuse of females, no, 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 big no. And children. And children, Not of course. Not forget what happened with the children. Yes, they're getting into social centers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, moving on to another headline. Uh, now we're moving on to the Ahram newspaper. Final voting on new constitution tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Egypt is a democratic country with a civil ruling. Sharia principles are source of legislation. Spokesman of 50 member panel of the constitution, Mohammed Salmawi, said that the committee wrapped up its work on Thursday in 55 sessions, in addition to the additional sessions of the subcommittees. He added that the committee will hold a meeting to put the procedures of voting and discuss the way of voting on Friday to hold the final voting on Saturday. Mm -hmm. There are reservations to be tackled. Mm -hmm. and, and this piece of news, Nashwa, is from which uh, newspaper? Was Ahram it? newspaper. Ahram newspaper, okay. In, uh, in another newspaper, they were talking about having um, uh, 244 articles for the constitutional bill and 42 articles are new uh, ones, and um, that the voting will, be ta will take place in an electronic format with cards and swipe cards. I don't know. Do I have time seen to do this? Uh, I really don't know. They haven't explained really how they will do this through uh, cards and voting through cards and so on. I would have assumed uh, like pushing a button or something like that, so agree or disagree or something. But I don't know. Each one will will be um, uh, put in discuss uh, yes or no for all the items, the articles in the constitution, and they will download it somewhere through the card. And no, I mean this the is result going to be applied, or just someone talking about we wish we can do it like this. It's not a wish. It's not a wish. They're saying that they will do that. How they will do it, no one knows. It will happen tomorrow anyway. The constitutional uh, vote. And um, uh, what is good about it is that uh, so far we, we don't know exactly the articles uh, because, yeah, I mean, later when, when they start voting and so on, it will be public. Uh, uh, there is one article uh, for uh, the retirees and the pensioners, which is a, a, a good thing. Uh, some other items for preserving the natural resources and environmental resources in the country, which is an uh, excellent thing. And 
and um, what else? Um, there are debatable issues about uh, progressive taxation. Uh, this will be settled. But again, the item that I would wish really to see in the Constitution, and I'm not sure whether it's there or not, I have written to Mr. Amr Musa uh, previously about it, is that we need to have development monitoring and evaluation for public policies, public programs, and public projects in order that we go towards public accountability and transparency in the programs of the government. Without this, I don't think the Constitution will be complete. Doctor, if you allow me, because I, I can see many of the articles in the Constitution. I don't know, but do we must we have something like this in the Constitution? I, I mean, there are certain things that mm -hmm. must be taken for granted. Mm -hmm. We are talking about basics to, to be in the Constitution. How come? Because if we just take a look at some of the, the, the other countries, we can see the Constitution is just a, a paper, something like this, mm -hmm. and there is the law. Mm -hmm. that you apply and you, 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 you just you carry out all the what you want, the demands of the country for the development and the economic development. Why do we have this? Egypt is a big bureaucracy. It's the oldest bureaucracy in the whole world. And we are of the first are countries we going in to the world. Are continue like this as long as we know that this is one of our problems? I mean, uh, uh, we, are, we, uh, we are a big country and we, we're a leader and we're trying to fight plenty of issues at the same time, um, discrepancies in areas and interests, different interests that are uh, competing and, and so on and so forth. Um, the, the, as you say, the Constitution has to be a generic document, an, an umbrella for all the legislation yes, that will be passed as long as we're later. talking about each and everything, the minute details in the country, definitely mm. this person will like it, the other one is not going to like it. You can never satisfy uh, the 90 millions, for example, uh -huh. with mm. this Constitution. No way. Mm. I'm talking about something general to guarantee safety and security of the country and yeah. the citizens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the American Constitution is something like 12 For articles, example, no yes. more. Um, UK does not have a constitution itself. But in this situation, well, we have to tailor make according to the situation. We've been through two revolutions, yeah. and we're trying to uh, systematize things and, and to have rule of law as clear as possible, and so on and so forth. So if this is the approach that we have chosen, we have to, we have to be cautious, as you say. We don't have to get into much of the detail. Like, for example, the issue of progressive taxation. It created disputes, as we saw. Yeah, progressive taxation it has to be in a law, uh, the choice of the, of the type of taxation. But taxation, as, as a generic uh, issue, has to be there. There is a very important thing, um, which, is, uh, which, uh, which I read in the newspaper today, about the quota. The Constitutional Committee decided to um, reject all sorts of quota in the Constitution uh, in the Parliament. Okay, two thirds of, uh, of 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 the members will be uh, independent, and one third will be uh, in the list. Okay, uh, going back to the point of the quota, uh, they rejected uh, having the 50/50 labor and peasants farmers. and farmers, and even for women. I'm sorry. I, I disagree. Okay, uh, uh, rejecting the 50-50 for labor and farmers, yes, because that was affirmative action after the 52 revolution because it was mainly the elites who used to get into the parliament. And now, yes, they are there, so it is fine. It's a, it's a, it's a temporary measure. Now, for women, women are not marginalized. They are not uh, a little quota who should take some. We are 50% of the Egyptian population. We need to have 50% of the seats in the parliament in order to be engaged in decision making and in shaping the future of our country. And Maybe we are able must to concentrate make it. right now with the politi parties, political parties. I mean, the list at least must include names of women. I think. Obviously.